think I got a little tongue weight. <laughs> oh, got the truck all muddy and everything. Breaking that farm truck right in. Oh, yeah, I went and got some hay. I got uh, 10. I could have probably put, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13. I probably could have got 14 on there, but 10 was enough. That should last well into uh, springtime now that the grass is coming up good and these 70 degree winter days are letting the pastures come alive but they need a little bit more he felt bad for that crappy hay he gave me because his loader was broke last time so I got some good uh, shelter kept hay can't beat that for $25 a bale it's good stuff never been rained on some of the bales are a little oblong they're every bit of a thousand pounds a piece though they're heavy all right well, i'm gonna get this unstrapped and uh get the tractor and get it unloaded even though uh that other hay was about brown once once they bust into it here i'll show you real quick while i'm already this close it's just as fresh looking as that is on the inside they like to pull it out make a mess of it I want to uh, once they get done with that I'm gonna start unrolling them I'll unroll about a hundred foot or so that way uh, maybe they'll kind of won't tear up the ground so bad I knew that this area right here was gonna get destroyed anyways but at least if I roll it out all that seed from that grass should fall out and help uh, plant in the pasture as well not like some free grass seed all right let me get this unstrapped and unloaded
Are you excited about all your new hay? What's up? So where's my treats? Well, I got started on the uh, trees today. I'm planting green giants all the way down the property line to kind of hide the neighbors. They, uh, they were out here with a little dingo and they augered the holes in and set all the trees out when they got a little cat. I think it's a 250, what is that thing? A 257? I think that's what those are. <laughs> Got a little boom pole on it. What is it? Yeah, 257. Set all the trees out. They're going to come back in the morning and plant them all. Untie them. Hopefully, that'll create a nice little uh, border down here eventually. It'll take them a little bit of time to fill out, but I didn't want to space them too close together where they choked each, each other out. Yeah, that's going to be nice when it's all said and done. Now I just need to figure out if I want to do mulch or pine straw because that's going to be a little aggravating to mow in between the trees and the fence once those trees fill out some. We'll save that for another day though. That's a lot of trees. Well, the trees turned out really nice. I'm happy with the way they they went in. I think they look real good. They'll grow together over time and grow right up to the fence line, I think. I'll probably just end up mulching all that from the fence to the trees and around the trees. And it'll probably over the next four or five years make a good, good little privacy buffer. Yeah, that's going to work really well. I'm happy with that. I put them 11 foot apart just because the trees get so expensive. And they say average is 10. I had them at 8 to start with and it was looked way too close together. So I moved them to 10 and then I needed a little bit more. So I just spread them apart a little bit farther. It'll take them a little bit longer to grow together. But I'd rather them be a little bit farther spaced apart than to cramp them up together and then seem like they choke each other out. So I'm going to, uh, like I said, put a little bit of fabric down and probably I got a bunch of mulch left. Just mulch everything to the fence and not have to worry about trying to maintain any of that. <laughs> 